What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans might have one of the most underrated groups in the NFL, and that is the secondary, led by newly additioned Jimmy Ward and head coach D'Amico Ryans. Last year, this Houston Texans pass defense was very good despite a horrible performance from the defensive line and the linebacking group. Nonetheless, they were the only bright spot on the defense last year, led by Jalen Petrie and Steven Nelson. Flash forward to this season, can you get a full 17 games from Derek Stingley? And with the Additions of Jimmy Ward and head coach D'Amico Ryans. Well, you are excited for this Houston secondary, and you know that he could turn this group good to elite. Now, with that being said, guys, welcome everyone to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content here, so make sure you guys are subscribed and tapped in. I am so close to 6K. The draft party. If you are going to be there, I will be there myself. I was there last year taking pictures and doing interviews with you guys. So feel free, you know, to come up there and say hi. Guys, the buzz for the Houston Texans is coming back. And I've been calling this the D'Amico Ryan's effect. Brooks Cabina, he, he does a great job covering the Houston Texans. He put out a tweet that says, Kyle McNair says they'd had 90% season ticket renewal. They sold 3,000 new season tickets and sold three times more suites this year than last year. We really appreciate the fans sticking with this. Look, this is only a testament of the good job that this Houston Texans front office has done. That last press conference, right, after you win slash lose that game against the Indianapolis Colts, it looks like all signs were pointing down on the slippery slope for this Houston Texans organization, yet you saw the D'Amico Ryans hire have a huge effect on this city and on this team. You then saw Cal McNair and Hannah McNair work together to try to rebuild, you know, the... um try to rebuild the way that ownership is looked at because we thought this Houston Texans ownership didn't care. And I think that fans buying 90%, you know, I'm sorry, fans renewing 90% of their season ticket holdings and buying more suites now than last year is only show signs that this Houston Texans team did a great job. The fans are clearly behind what they're doing and we're just waiting to see a winning football product. So shout out to, you know, to the Houston Texans front office and, and, and ownership for getting the fans back on because man, it was a rough couple of days when you lost that number one overall pick. But going back to this no fly zone, right? This potential no fly zone for the Houston Texans. Well, it gets me excited. Can you get a full 17 games from Derek Stingley? Look, we know that he wasn't used correctly last year by Lovey Smith and this Houston Texans defense. At LSU, he was one of the best man-to-man -man corners in the country, locking up guys like Jamar Trace and the wide receivers coming out, you know, in the first round, uh, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson. He was doing a fantastic job over there at LSU. So you knew his best skill set was man-to-man. -man. The Houston Texans failed to do that. So, you know, that is going to be what we are looking for this year. Derek Stingley made some plays when he was out there. Let's not forget that uh, that interception against the Jacksonville Jaguars. To me, that was what won the game because they almost came back. Nonetheless, Derek Stingley, I am excited for. He was at D'Amico Ryan's press conference. He looked locked in. Derek Stingley is one of the players that we want to see mostly benefit from head coach D'Amico Ryan's. His corner... In crime, his partner in crime, Steven Nelson, I think did a fantastic job last year. We knew that when you got Steven Nelson, this was a low-end number one, definitely a number two cornerback on this Houston Texans team. And when Derek Stingley went out, well, Steven Nelson stepped up, right? We talked about not, you know, the, uh, the Texans not playing man-to-man. -man. Well, in the game after Derek Stingley, you know, was out with a hamstring injury, the Houston Texans played man-to-man -man against the Washington Commanders, and it was Steven Nelson against Scary Terry, and Steven Nelson had a day against them. I am liking the fact that he wants to be a Houston Texan, right? He says he wants to be here, and maybe there are some talks of extensions going on after he saw the Laramie Tunzel extension. So when you see players want to stay here, and you see, you know, like I said, Laramie Tunzel recruiting guys and Derek Stingley recruiting guys, you absolutely love to see that. The safety group for this Houston Texans team, I think, is damn good. Jalen Petrie, in my opinion, should have been defensive rookie of the year last year. 147 tackles, five interceptions. He was all over the field for the Houston Texans. Yes, he did miss 37 and missed tackles. That will be, you know, 
fixed with D'Amico Ryans coming in. But Jalen Petrie, I think, is going to be a star in this NFL. And we might see him, you know, really come into fruition with the addition of Jimmy Ward and D'Amico Ryans. Now, Jimmy Ward, we all knew he was going to be a Houston Texan. He was liking pictures and videos of himself in the red, white, and blue. As soon as D'Amico Ryans was his head coach, he says he's willing to be moved all around the secondary. He is great at coverage. He is going to be the captain on this Houston Texans defense. He is going to ignite the defense, ignite the offense, ignite the city and crowd. This is the the exact type of player that you want leading this secondary. You have some young guys. You have some veterans. You also have Desmond King and Tavier Thomas, who did very good last year. Desmond King, I think, is just fantastic, man. Ever since he signed it for the Houston Texans, he's been very good. Overall, this secondary for the Houston Texans is the bright spot of this Texans D. You guys let me know what you think. As always, go Texans. Let me know how you feel about this secondary. You guys have a very blessed day.